cooking. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack held her hand. He was so kind. You'd never know that Jill was blind. Larry Brotman is a combination of uh, one of the smartest people I know, one of the most creative people I know, and one of the most generous people I know. Let me tell you a little bit about him and his history. He uh, graduated from MIT, became a professor, teaching students, many of whom, by the way, have gone on to become leaders in industry and electronics and other areas. Uh, I was at a meeting recently where there was a concept where people who once had vision have gone blind, where we're going to put electrodes on their brain and they're going to be able to see. It turns out the man leading that project is one of Larry's former students. This happens all the time. He has had a major influence on so many people. Larry has had this terrific career as a businessman, very successful, sold those businesses and then he went on to his next career. The next career was, he'd been doing photography in Africa for years, and he uh, got involved with Lurie Children's Hospital when they were just beginning plans to develop it, and his artwork where he combined African images with iconic Chicago scenes, for example, penguins on the L-stop, things of that nature, and those photographs were framed and put into uh, the new Lurie Children's Hospital. From that concept, Larry said, wouldn't it be interesting to do a book? So he did his first book. He's an author and a photographer, both. First book was Chicago Unleashed. The other part of Larry that probably isn't as well known is his generosity. He's been unbelievably generous with the Lighthouse, but he's been involved with other civic organizations. Uh, he went to play at American Theatre uh, Company, fell in love with what was going on there, got to know the artistic director, and became a great supporter of that organization to this day. I think for Larry, what he's really been involved with is the children here. There's a certain connection he made with the children here. Come on over here. I'm over here. I'm taking your picture. Would you like that? Yeah. This is a camera. You want to hold the camera? And from that, he said, well, what can I do with it? And what he's done with it is he's developing a book that's going to be, an, I believe, a bestseller. And look at your hand. Pretend frog in your hand. Yeah, there's a came up with the concept of doing a children's book, not only having photography, but having illustrations both. It's very unique what he's done, very real and very imaginative. I think Larry has been unbelievably generous with us, both financially and time, and, and really uh, helping our mission. Larry really, I believe, will have footsteps in the sands of time, will leave a legacy someday that will be very recognized. And quite honestly, when I grow up, I hope I can be more like Larry.